Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby, in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump presents Congress with a list of demands on immigration reform in exchange for protecting hundreds of thousands of young immigrants. Many are policies Democrats say are explicitly off the table. White House correspondent Mark Irons joins us with the details. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. At the top of that list, the president recommitting to his campaign promise to build a U.S.-Mexico border wall. He's also proposing overhauling the country's green card system and a crackdown on unaccompanied minors entering the country. The president says the demands are the result of a bottom-up review of all immigration policies. President Trump says if Congress wants to help the so-called dreamers, there are some stipulations. Late Sunday night, the White House released a list highlighting more than a dozen immigration policy priorities, including a call for lawmakers to fund and complete the southern border wall, limit family-based green cards to spouses and minor children of U.S. citizens and permanent residents, and make it easier to deport gang members and unaccompanied children. In a letter to leaders on Capitol Hill, the president says, without these reforms, illegal immigration and chain migration, which severely and unfairly burdens American workers and taxpayers, will continue without end. And the reforms must be included as part of any legislation addressing the status of deferred action for childhood arrivals recipients. That program, known as DACA, grants young, undocumented immigrants, known as DREAMers, deferred action from deportation. It also makes them eligible for a work permit. President Trump says it's up to Congress to act now. I have a love for these people, and hopefully now Congress will be able to help them and do it properly. Perla Montoya is one of nearly 800,000 so-called DREAMers. DACA has given so many opportunities for me and many of my other um, family members that to give us a new job, a new shot at life. A bipartisan effort is underway to come up with a legislative fix for DACA recipients. <laughs> Last week, Democratic Senator Dick Durbin joined his Republican counterpart, Lindsey Graham, at a rally. saying that we are poised to do the right thing as a nation, and you are going to be the reason. I'm not going to stop with the dreamers, though. We're going to get that done, first and foremost. But we want to make sure that America remembers its legacy, this nation of immigrants. It's not clear if the Trump administration immigration priorities are non-negotiable or whether the White House sees them as a starting point for negotiation. Top Democrats Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer say they are open to reasonable border security measures, but this list goes so far beyond what is reasonable. And Wyatt, a look at Catholic teaching on immigration tells us that a country has the right to regulate its borders, but must do so with justice and mercy. Mark, what are the U.S. bishops saying about the future of DREAMers? The bishops have called on Congress to act immediately to find a solution for them. And the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops is declaring this week a week of prayer for migrants and refugees. That's in response to Pope Francis recently launching a public awareness campaign for immigrants called Share the Journey. Quiet. And I'm sure Pope Francis and American bishops will continue to promote immigrants. Mark Irons, correspondent at the White House, thanks so much.